Good morning. I'm a little bit tired, a little bit dazed. I woke up about half an hour ago. I should be sat here, not even sat lying here, just processing. Um, it's quieter than I thought it was going to be here. Yeah, peaceful, in fact. You know, we're in Southampton, but we're far enough away from the hustle and bustle. Anyway, got in about half nine last night. It was completely dark by then. Uh, Kelly and Kelvin shot straight off back to Warwickshire because Kelly's got to look after the kids and they've got gigs. And um, I took Amanda and Andy back in the van. So yeah, I'm on my own for a couple of days, which is a bit of a shame because I'd quite like to have Kel here um, and the kids, obviously. But at the same time, there's a few things to do to get ready. And then we're going to live here for Sunday night. The weather's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning here today. It's lovely. I'm pooped. More poop than I realised. A couple of first observations. I was running around tiny up the fenders, the lines. I'm trying to do it carefully because the uh, handrails aren't finished, but all the rigging's good. So actually I'm just tying off on the chain plates. But I have become aware that we are sitting a bit like this. That canopy went on pretty easy. I don't know what Kelvin and Kelly were playing at the other day when they took it off. Because taking it off is supposed to be easier than putting it on. It's absolutely lovely and warm today, the sides are all up. But I want to put a lot of stuff like the sail bags and the spare foam and things back out here. Because they can be out here for a week or so or a few months. Well, uh, get some space inside. I'm still pretty knackered, but I've had half a pack of biscuits, a little orange juice, and the sugar's kicking in, and I'm getting a few jobs done. Right, I've got the uh, floor mods up again. I've had a quite a big tidy up, the canopy's back on, the lines are all sorted, the electric's plugged in, uh, the piano's playable, so all the important things are done. Yeah, I'm pretty knackered, I'm going pretty slow, but I'm going to spend a couple of hours this afternoon, and I'm going to try and get the water connected. There's a really cool uh, little diagram that Jabsco publish, and I'm basically just copying that. I don't think I've even got any Jabsco components, unfortunately, but <laughs> the diagram's great, so thanks for that. So it's quite simple. Hopefully, it shouldn't take me too long. A couple of hours work, maybe, but probably chance I'll spend all afternoon on it. Because I'm pretty, uh, pretty pooped. Water tank here, the inspection hatch. The main hatch is all silicon down and screwed down. From there, we've got a feed going up. Two, there's two feeds there on a wire joint. Um, and the reason is two is because that one uh, will plumb in here to the feed on the other tank. That then goes through pipe work up here to a filter, goes to a pump. This in a system which is basically a big balloon and helps even out the load coming off this and also takes the work off this so it doesn't have to work so hard. Um, and then that's my cold feed and that's going to go off now to all the cold outlets and it's going to go to the hot outlets, before it gets to the hot outlets, it's got to go via the uh, hot water clarifier. Except I don't know where any of my tools are. We had a big rush tidy up before we left and Kelvin did a great job of stirring everything. But anyway, so actually what I'm going to do first before I do any plumbing, is put those floors back down, get all the big bits of foam and sails, put them all in the cockpit, clear everything out, and have a bit of an organised for an hour or so, sorting out my tools, so I know where everything is. Anyway, I'm setting up to cut the foam for the bed. I know I'm supposed to be doing the plumbing, but I get distracted easily. And I, well, the reason is because I had an idea. I don't know why I didn't do this for the front cover because it would have made life so much easier. I'm going to just take the board off and use that as a template for the foam. The mattress gets thicker as it goes up. So I've had to take a measurement off of that to allow for it. You can probably tell I'm tired today. My brain's supposed to be scooting around from one thought to another. I just did a bit of teaching online though, which is nice. I'm really lovely to do that if I haven't done it for the last couple of weeks. And I'm looking forward to hopefully trying to pick that up a little bit. So. One thing that's really bothering me at the moment, partly because I'm tired, but is how out of balance the boat is. I mean, we've got the work surface, the kitchen, batteries, inverter, all on the port side, and only thing counting that is the piano. Not to mention the fact that everything, all the scrap wood and everything is all loaded up on port at the minute. Um, so she's sitting slightly heavy to aft and very heavy to port. The difference, if you are measuring it off the, uh, the blue line of the anti valve and it's an inch on this side, it's six and a half on the other side, which is a lot. But I've got to just trust myself, trust the process, you know. Um, when the sofa's all gutted and cleared out, that can be where all the tools go, the new colour of fire when we're on that side as well. Um, you know, if the piano balances out with the batteries, the colour of fire can help balance out the worktop, you know, and then we just fill everything up and then it may be a case of it's going to be a slightly unusual boat that actually my tools are going to live under the kids' beds and the toys are going to live under our bed, that sort of thing, because it's a weight thing, you know. We're going to get these solar panels on the back that's going to have quite a few hundred K with the arch as well. Um, I'd love to hang the dinghy off the back, but I think when we're doing passages, the dinghy's going to go on the foredeck. 
again just to balance the boat, get her sitting that even. So yeah, it's all stuff I'm enjoying thinking about at the minute. Uh, anyway, what I'm supposed to be doing is uh, getting this plumbing done, which I've still not done, and then possibly even cutting Darcy's batches, which I've still not done. In case you didn't know, this is a uh, what's called a double check valve, but what I'd call a non-return valve uh, for the plumbing. And the, I think the official way to test this uh, that tradesmen use is this. Doesn't go that way. Does go that way. So I'm pretty sure that's the standard standard tradesman test. <sighs> Feeling uh, starting to feel a bit emotional now. I think I realised quite how big a day yesterday was and how much was leading up to it. Uh, Cal got emotional during the launch, but I really I wasn't worried at that point. Uh, I think it's a lot of a, a lot coming out now. Um, but it's just been so lovely. The number of messages we've had through social media or just people texting, phoning, whatever. All these things, and people just saying, like the amount of love and support and encouragement for what we're doing, it's just been, uh, yeah, nothing short of magic. Like really, it's quite emotional when I think about it. Like people I respect and love and admire, and people are saying that they're inspired by what we're doing, which is absolutely crazy. I, I feel like we're just going, trying to survive day at a time, you know, but it's a big stupid idea and we're just trying to get through the next day. And it might take us years to get there, but yeah. It just reminds me like, I haven't done much of a, you know, for YouTube a lot, but much of a backstory for who me and Kel are, Kel and I are, but I had another project when I was uh, out of university, designing musical instruments, and I just remember once being in my parents' back garden, crying over these broken parts that I'd, uh, I'd spent, I think, six weeks waiting for to be shipped from the other side of the world. And within about six minutes of playing with them, I'd broken them. And <laughs> I thought I'd do it all again. But you just pick yourself up and go again. Yesterday was a tough day. Like, it was a bit scary. Um, the boat wasn't as floating as it should have been. And everything was late. You know, we were late in the water. We were after high tide, we went in. The yard was rushing. They didn't, they didn't do their best job yesterday because they were running late. And it all went a bit mad panic. And I just, we went for it. And actually, we shouldn't have done. We should have stayed in the trailer. Back to the plumbing. There's still some water in there. Just deflecting it to uh, stop it covering the alternator. Still quite a lot of water in there. The water's been there for a while. Oh, the fouls come sticking in. There's a lot of water in there. Yeah, but I thought I'd emptied it. Ah, did I? I emptied the, uh, the central heating circuit in there. Did I empty the... Well, I emptied it from the... No, I didn't. There you go, it's only 35 litres. Good test of the build pump, and nothing else. At least the build just work. We didn't actually spill enough seawater in there yesterday to test that. So, tested that now. You know what? I'm right. I'm not a plumber. I'm having fun and I'm learning. I'll work it out. It's good fun, eh? Anyway, I've got one more day and then I'm going home. Oh, this is home. I'm going back to Warwickshire. Then, yeah, I've got one more day's worth of work and then we're living on here as a family. This morning I finished the bow cabin mattress and I have put uh, mattresses on the bench seat in the corridor and on the little cabin on the uh, starboard side, Darcy's bedroom. So we have enough sleeping now for five people uh, for this coming week. I have now just started putting the uh, water tanks. So I've just put the hose in at the top, it's filling up right now. Fingers crossed the first phase of the plumbing doesn't leak, which is the water tank. The water tank seems uh, watertight so far. I've done bits and pieces on the previous boats. This is the first time I've done an entire water install myself. But it's cool, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm getting there, it's like working through a bit at a time. Anyway, here we are. So, everything below the boat is plumbed in as I need at the minute. I've literally just got the sink to put in. I lost my red tape, so green for cold, written on the word hot for red. That's my drain, that's my feet. Connecting that sink was another uh, five minute job. It took a fair while. <laughs> but it's in, it's siliconed in, the sink itself, uh, completely screwed, bolted from underneath. The uh, taps there, and all the jointing underneath is in. I need to pin back a couple of the east pipes once I know they're working. Uh, in theory, I could turn the water pumps on now, spend a while bleeding the system, 
and then once it's bled, discover if there's any leaks anywhere and deal with them. Uh, but it's quite late. I'm supposed to be going home this weekend. I'm quite tempted just to get in the van and go. And I keep saying going home. This is home. This was not how I imagined our, uh, the day to go. Mummy, ha, ha, yeah, doing laser tag. One letter. It's a dangerous sport. Mommy was on the net and she twisted her foot. Not running, Tilly. Okay, monkeys. What do you remember it being like last time you were here? Um, Working. Like a building site. Like yeah. a building site. Oh. Still a few tools out. <laughs> I mean, I was knackered on Friday when I left. But it's enough to live on. Oh my god! Yes. Or not for the Who knows? Daddy, Brooke, she's here! How come I haven't got a stuff with me? We're going to do yours this week, mate. <laughs> Like. Yeah, the other noise is the um the second noise you're hearing is the uh is the um build front. Okay. What was that hose down there for? It doesn't sound good. It sounds like a fitting's come off. Yeah, hundred percent. Christ. I'd have been pretty impressed if it had been right. No, those are all fitting, so I used it for shouldn't have shouldn't have I know exactly where it's failed. That's it. I know exactly where it's failed. The two fittings that failed are ones that were original Spanish fittings that I kept put in a bag. I, I wasn't gonna use them except for I didn't have any spare left because they were the ones I bought and used. So the same two places failed. Well that's good then, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. So what does it mean for today? We can't use the tap. Uh, that one I can change, and this one here is just a very slow leak into the village. I heard a noise. <laughs> it's all coming up from under here as well. Oh, right, we haven't even been in five minutes, and it's absolute chaos. But I have to remember that this is what it's like whenever we go onto any boat before you set a sail on passage. We've got to find place for our stuff, we've got to find the equilibrium, we've got to get ourselves sorted out, haven't we, Tails? Yeah. And then we um, will be fine. Eric and Dad's just gone to get the last load of um, stuff and then I'm going to take the trolley back with Daddy. The mess was getting worse. So we decided that we need some storage and cleaning solutions. Cue family trip to Ikea. Eric, what do you think of shopping in Ikea? You're just wasting all your money. <laughs> but you might need stuff. Picture, isn't it? So one screw, one screw. Sorted, more or less. So we're just opening the new bowls. Uh, we've already got the plates. They're a nice red and um, swirly blue. I wonder what these are going to be. Wow, same. Cool. They're beautiful, aren't they? Uh, look, they've got the nice swirly pattern. Beef. What's special they're, about them? Um, well, they can't break on a boat because they're made of plastic. And they also look like they're pottery, so they're very beautiful. Glasses that are not glass. I don't know what you call glasses that aren't glass. Plastic glasses. Plastic glasses or glasses. Anyway, we're, uh, it's good. We're not going to be able to break anything anymore. Oh, no. This is my first, my first experience of induction. It's so weird. It's like not cooking on gas, but look at my fancy, the Crusade kettle, which I won't tell Hugh how much it costs, but we needed it. First, first boil, you had to, to like tip away. And then the kettle's ready to use. Hugh and I don't drink tea and coffee, so this has been a bugbear of Andy has been helping us. But now I've got a kettle, um, but we don't have any tea bags or coffee. <laughs> Discovered a new leak. Put a bucket there, but it's dripping down the back as well. Kelly's quick to remind me I'm not a plumber, 
but the uh, fittings, the water feed under the sink is a hose tail with Jubilee clips and it's just been a little bit, just needs to keep tightening up all the time. So I don't know if Jubilee clips are not working well enough or whether it's just too much movement. Anyway, I've tightened them up again, it's settled down now. It was really important that we, and mainly the children, started to feel at home. So we baked, allowed them to do gymnastics. Kids have been and, uh, to the locker and got all of the soft teddies out. But wait, that's not, that's not the end of it. Anyone else's kids have this many soft teddies that they're trying to fit into a small boat? There's more as well. Five o'clock, Kelly's brother got us this present about two years ago when he found out we were moving on to a boat. And now we've moved on to a boat. Got my almanac, set my tide clock. We're all good to go, except for in Southampton where you get a weird double high tide. The high tide is going to go from here to about here. That's all right, and then the water goes out. And it's exciting because we're coming up to Springs. Remember Springs? Uh, we're on Friday now. Wow, it's Friday already. Monday is spring tides. On Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the boat is going to touch the bottom. So we've got basically the exact opposite of what we had in Hailing, whereas in Hailing we could only get out for these sort of two hour windows uh, for about three days uh, every two weeks. Here, we're the opposite, we can't get out for that tiny time. It's mud here again, and we are going to think. I'm excited because it went down to 0 0.4 yesterday. Kelly's not excited, I'm excited. It's going to go down to minus 0 0.3, so we are definitely going to be touching the mud a tiny bit. Back building, just about to embark on my first bit of a uh, uh, boat DIY since we've been here over a week or so ago. Kids are doing some education with Kel in one of the cabins, and I'm going to make Eric's bed today and put it all back together. So, all the parts I need are already on board because I made the bed uh, about <laughs> a year ago, um, and I'm just going to try and put it back together. But since I made it, a kill came out as I put that skin on the back wall, so I now need to trim bits off the back of the bed where that wall now is so basically refit it so it's going to need a bit of chopping a bit of a bit of a fiddling we have so many jobs left to do to get this boat ready to sail off into the sunset and we're going through a big adjustment period we've got to work out how to live and work on this boat simultaneously this is going to bring with it its challenges we have so many willing helpers so you know things might take a little bit longer but this is their adventure too, so we just need to embrace it and enjoy being a family. Meanwhile, I've nearly finished the uh, foam. Got the bottom layer looking good. Here's my cameraman. <laughs> Come on, you're good. Fish from thumbs up. Yeah! Are they different colours, are they? Oh, you're a bit. You're definitely, you're definitely in a trot berth, Kelvin. Mm. Your legs are definitely. In... Oh, there's a lot in there. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, that's interesting. It's more than I felt like. I felt like I felt like it'd just be that bit of my feet, but actually, put my knees are in. Oh, yeah. I think you're still alright for a, a good old sort of toss and turn. It's a bit, a bit tight, but. What do you think, Calvin? Do you think you can survive in there? Yeah, absolutely. That's just lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's toasty. Very comfy. That's toasty. It is toasty and comfy. This week, we also took delivery of the new washing machine. So we're just about to put the new washing machine into the boat. Uh, we've strapped up the uh, washing machine in his package. We've taken the hatch off. Tilly's going to be camera woman. I got a battery. Got a new battery. Good girl. This is called the halyard till, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What we normally use for raising the mainsail. Can you stay sat down? But we're going to use this. I'm going to give it to Kelvin. Kelvin's going to tie this button. Let's get one closer. I'm going to just do a manual lift and back to where the gate is anyway. Okay, so no, this is not the new washing machine. That might take a few weeks to get into commission. 
So Tilly and I went off to the laundrette. We are a proper liverboard family now. Hugh decided that it wasn't chaotic enough this week, so he decided to add a little bit extra to the noise level with the addition of three new instruments. And then he instantly regretted this at 6am the next morning. However, we can always find peace exploring our new back garden. That's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, it's been really cool and uh, as we said earlier on, if you could uh, like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Lots of love. We have a home and we hope it's going to be this way for a few more years yet. The adventure is just starting. Better get back to it.